Yo guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Now, as you can see by the title and thumbnail of this video, we are going to be doing some TikTok food life hacks. But just before we get started into this video, I just want to talk on a little bit of a more serious note. So as I'm sure you're all aware, the world is a pretty scary place right now. There's a lot of things going off and I just want to use my platform to open up and speak to you guys about it a little bit. So I'm sure you've all seen that a video was circling around on the internet with George Floyd and what happened was I, now, I can't personally sit here and tell you guys what you have to do, what you have to say, what you have to feel, because I myself don't know. So that's why I'm going to use this time to educate myself on the matter. One thing that I will do to help is leave some petitions in the description below that you can click and sign up to. Like I say, I'm not educated enough myself to fully talk about the matter, but I am human and I know the difference between right and wrong. And what I saw online on that video, what happened to George Floyd is just wrong. So what I want to say to you guys that this video, everything that is earned on this video, I want to donate the money to the Black Lives Matter charity. So if you guys do see any ads on this video, please don't skip. Please smash the like button. Let's try and get as much support behind this video to push it higher in YouTube searches. Then we get more views and then we can generate more money to donate to the Black Lives Matter charity. I am lucky enough to somehow have an audience on this platform. I, I don't know why, but thank you for watching me. So what I want to try to do for this video is just take everyone's minds off what's happening in the world for just about 20 minutes just try and bring some positive energy try and make people smile and just try and make people laugh even if I manage to do it just for a couple of minutes then I know that my job here is done but the world right now is very very scary and it's very important that we spread the message to help try and stop this problem in the future because it is just a massive, massive problem. So I'm going to say it again, make sure you click the links in the description to go sign up to all of the petitions to try and help what is happening in the world right now. And just like what I'm going to do, make sure you take the time to educate yourself on the matter. But for now, let's crack on with testing some TikTok food hacks. So I am now in the Hinchcliffe kitchen and I am joined by the professional of this kitchen. Me. You want me to come over? No, I'm just wafting myself. No, please come here. There's a little song to come into. <laughs> you stay there and I'll sort that right out. <laughs> also, if I look like I've got a really snotty nose and I look like I'm crying, I am. I've got hair fever. So on my phone, I have a list of TikToks. Not that you can see them, but I have a list of food hacks that Ellie... What? You keep covering my hair. Ellie has planned a lot of TikToks for us to use for this video, so the first one that we are going to be taking on that everyone should know if you are on TikTok, it is the coffee food hack where you pour some coffee in a bowl, you whip it up, and then you put it in a glass of milk, and it makes a beautiful, fresh, whipped coffee. So the first step into making TikTok coffee, you want to get a bowl. That's empty. It's not, it's mine. Can I have a look? What are you doing? It's empty. Proceed. You've got your bowl, now you want some coffee. No you don't, you want a spoonful of coffee. If you want to make more than one, you have to use more than one spoonful, but for one coffee, just use one spoonful of coffee. Uh, tablespoon. Oh, I just spat in the coffee. I make a cup of coffee. I just spilt it. And then the next step, what you want to do is get one tablespoon of sugar. There we go. What you want to do is use your tablespoon, put it under the tap and get a tablespoon of water and splash that in. Are you eating that? So what it should look like is a little bit like this. You've got the coffee, you've got the sugar, you've got the water and all you want to do now is mix it up like this until it goes a nice light brown frothy mixture. What did you... Have you seriously got that on that late coffee stains? How do I get it off? How it's like red wine, you can't get it out. You can, there must be a way, there must be a way, there must be a way, there must be a way. Ellie bought me, this is quite expensive and I've just got coffee right there. Shall I take it off? Mm. I'm gonna take it off. Give me coffee clues. <laughs> I've, I've got two splodges. Can it be washed? Coffee does not come out. Where's that just come from? Ellie, where's, where is it? Ellie, where is it? The splodge <laughs> just appeared there. Uh, I might have to film the rest of these video notes. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that's my antifrest for deodorant. Can it not go in the wash now? If you put you need to, varnish on it. I need to sort it out, Lee. So can you just let me do what I'm doing? Sorry everyone, this video has took a turn. I need to go put a different t-shirt on. <laughs> 
Where was I? So I'm now just going to stand here and whip up the coffee and I'll come back to you guys when I've whipped it up. So once you've stirred your coffee, it wants to look a little bit like this. So it's a light brown, frothy little mixture. Then you want to get an empty cup, some milk, and pour the milk into the cup. Just like that. Now, I don't know if you can see from there, but you need to put spoonfuls of the coffee onto the top of the milk. Yeah. And then once you've emptied your dish and poured all your coffee onto the top of your milk, it'll sit on the top just like that. So all you want to do is push it down. It looks very nice. And then once you've pushed it off of the top of the milk, just give it a little spin and a stir without trying to spill it all the way down the edge of the cup like me. And just like that, you've got your very own TikTok coffee. And if I give it a taste test, Mmm. I know it tastes good because I drink these pretty much every day after Ellie showed me how to make them. So that TikTok food hack definitely works and I would give that a 10 out of 10. Stop right there. You're watching this video and you haven't liked it yet. Why is that? Please pause the video, go down below and smash that like button. Let's get 5,000 likes on this video. Otherwise, if you don't like the video, all of the toilet roll in your house will disappear overnight. Please guys, like the video, I would really appreciate it. So now we're moving on to the next food hack and a bit of update about the t-shirt. Ellie has managed to wash it in the sink, haven't you? Now my hands are all sticky and horrible. That's the joys of spilling coffee on a t-shirt. So the next TikTok food hack is going to be a Nutella toasty. I don't mind Nutella. I don't really eat it because I absolutely love Biscoff spread. It is my lord and saviour. I don't mind Nutella though, but Ellie absolutely hates it. So it's probably going to be me trying this toasty. But Ellie, you can... Form the toasty. She's gonna form the toasty because knowing me, I'll end up getting Nutella all over this t-shirt. Give me some of that. No, get off. Give me some. I can't have anything for myself. It's an orange. <laughs> Watch, I better get you one. So the first thing that you need to make a Nutella toasty is some bread. Doesn't matter what bread, but we have Warburton's bread. One. Nice Stop. one. <laughs> You want to start with one slice of bread and you want to cut off the, um, <laughs> isn't it crazy? We finished each other's sandwiches. Once you've cut off all your crush, your bread should look like this. Crustless. Oh my god, I'm going to get at this so hard. Uh, uh, get a bit of Nutella. Bit of poo. Bit of poo. Put it in the middle of your bread. Put it in the middle of your bread. So get a bit of Nutella and slap it on some bread like this. I'm saying this, I used to <laughs> so you want to put it on top like it's a sandwich and you just want to get your fork on the back side as the price back side that's good right so now it's like a little now it looks like a pasty and then you just want to put your toaster on and, and pop it in just like that now it is toasting and when it pops back up we will show you all what it looks like it's smoking but i think it's okay oh okay we're ready we're heated with we're toasted. It smells like okay. actual fire. But as you can see, we've got two little slices of toast and the Nutella is in the middle, so I'm going to give it a taste test. I won't get any Nutella in that. It was just really hot bread. The Nutella's going to be hot, so just be careful. I won't get any Nutella again. It's just hot bread. Maybe this time I'll get some. Ah! 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 The Nutella's going to be hot, so just be careful. Is it nice? No, it's nice now. Look at it, it's all nice and melted. That TikTok food hack was obviously a success and I am going to give that also a 10 out of 10 because I really like it. Surprisingly, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. 10 out of 10, let's go on to the next food hack. I don't know why I'm moving out of the way because I'm only standing here, so... Hi. There we go. Ha. Moving on to the third TikTok food hack, it is making homemade s'mores. Now, if you don't know what a s'more is, in my head, you get two digestives and you melt a marshmallow and put it in the middle and scoop it off the stick and eat it. I don't think it's actually called s'mores. I think I just named it that. So for this, you need a bowl, chocolate, cookies, milk and marshmallows. Not another one. Surely not. So first you need a bowl and then you need the cookies. That me up. <laughs> I'm sick you up. So first you want some cookies, you want a bowl or also known as a dish because bowls are a lot bigger. How many cookies yeah. do you want? Well I don't want that cookie now. How much do you need cookies? Why? Oh, I think they're out of date. <laughs> 24th of 5th. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, best before. They're eatable. Well, no. let me pick it back up then. Uh, we're gonna use... I just ate that off the floor. 
So once you've got your cookie in the bowl, then get some sort of chocolate. For example, we've got chocolate buttons. Four in. Four. And then you want one marshmallow on the top, like this. Put it in the bottom of your bowl. And then you just want to pour a splash of milk on the top. On the top of your cookie. Go on. Just like that. Yep, 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 yep. Right, yep that's good. And then you want to put it in the microwave. For how long? Do you know? No, I think it's just like 30 seconds. So we'll wing it with this one. Okay, in goes to the microwave. Into the microwave. Okay. When we've got it out of the microwave, it now looks like this. So it looks like a big old melted cookie with a big fat toasted melted marshmallow. Melted marshmallow on the top, melted chocolate underneath the melted marshmallow, along with a melted chocolate with chocolate inside the... Let's just try it. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. That's what the weatherman said. The apples are ripe. The, the plums, plums are, are red. Brought me to sleep in it. We once did like a school play thing about a little a story of a little girl called Babaloobas. <laughs> Careful, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! It tastes disgusting. <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel like it's because the cookie's out of date. So at the end of all that, it looks like this, and it doesn't look very nice, nor does it taste very nice. So for that TikTok food hack, I'm gonna give it probably a three, because it looks satisfying to look at, but it's not very nice to taste, so that deserves a three out of 10. So next on our TikTok food hack list, we have an Oreo brownie. So what you need for this one is obviously Oreos, you need a mug, and milk. He needs some milk. So what's the first thing that everyone needs to use? Which is right here. <laughs> and that's the tea, sis. So the first thing we've got is the mug, and then you need. Put the Oreos into the cup. Three, two, one. Why? I've just fully broke one. Country road to the place where I belong. I've just nearly broke my Adam's apple. And then what you want to do is put some milk into your cup with the Oreos inside it. And then you just want to mush it up. Wait, stop it, stop it, because you're going to break the milk. <laughs> it looks a bit like poo. That's what we've got to work with. And now we're going to put it in the microwave for... Ellie, I'm sorry, but no one heard you because you were talking... Now you so Ellie is now put in the cup that has Oreos. You just stole a foot. That's not going in the microwave. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, 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 and all that he could see, see, see was the bottom of. Start again, I'm more musty top. Sailor went to see, see, see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what we're working with, everybody. It doesn't look like the prettiest of things. It's hot. Just leave it, this one. Just leave it. Just leave it! <laughs> no fact as well. I don't even like brownie. Oh, it's on my tooth. I don't like I got poo on my tooth. Right, everyone, so I've let it cool down a little bit, and this is what it's looking like. You can't really see it that well, but it basically looks like a big dollop of poo. It's disgusting, isn't it? I, I just don't like brownie in general. So for that one, I'm also going to give that a 3 out of 10. One, because it looks like poo. And two, because it basically tastes like it. So the next TikTok food hack that we have, I have actually no idea what it is. Ellie knows all about this one. I do not have a clue. It's called a rat. Yeah, um, yo, my name is Lee and I like to wee. Is. Well, we're not going to be able to use that now. Why? Ow! This is not going to work because we're not big enough. Sorry, we can't hear one, you're talking to the counter, and two, yeah. you've lost your voice. Right, so you want to leave a gap in the middle, like this. So you want to have a wrap and four pieces of toast. That's cheese. <laughs> a slice of ham. Ooh, I love ham, right, but it's got to be in bread. If I have ham outside of bread, it makes me feel sick. You want to cut it in half, Ooh. fold it in like this. Fold it this way, and then you need to put that in the toaster. Have we got a stick that I could try and spin this plate on? Right, when it's like toasted and crispy, when you want to when it's toasted and crispy, <laughs> ours is a bit too small to do this, so you need to take it out like that and, and fold it the opposite way. <laughs> 
I'll give this one a go for the team and uh, it tastes like a ham and cheese wrap. Oh. Any thoughts, anything to add apart from ham and cheese wrap? It is nice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Out of 10, what are you rating that? Eight. An eight? Really? Maybe a six. I'd say more of a four. It looks awful. <laughs> so we'll give that four out of 10, everybody. That was how you make a wrap, but it wasn't very good. So if you want to try that at home, done. Hello, guys. Hello, sunshine. So for the next TikTok food hack, we have had to move the camera around slightly because we are making honeycomb and if you don't know what honeycomb is ellie's just told me it's basically the orange stuff that's inside a crunchy and i don't even like it we're going to see the back of ellie's head most of this because i cannot be trusted to make this otherwise it'll be all over the floor i'll set fire and i will stick the honey to the pan completely and we'll not be able to get it off so ellie's going to do it and so you he, tell me now no i will tell them no you tell me guys guys you need, you need Guys, Guys, you, you need, need a, big a big spoon, spoon a, a saucepan, a baking, a baking tray, tray lined, lined with pat, pat, parchment, I think it's paper. paper, and then some you need some measuring scale, scales, some caster, some caster sugar, sugar, some, some golden, golden poo, syrup, syrup and, and some bacon. bacon. So <laughs> We're going to use black carbonate of soda because we don't have no baking soda. Apparently this went out of date in 2012. So it might be really disgusting. 200 grams of caster sugar. 200 grams of caster caster... That's for the ghost. Pour that into your saucepan. Pour that into your saucepan. Five tablespoons. That's the big spoon. Of golden syrup. Please, could you put someone in my finger? Just a tiny little bit. Oh! I got some on my finger. Okay guys, you want to put... Wait! I'm gonna be sick. Put the heat on slow, everybody. So this is what it's currently looking like inside the pan, and Ellie's giving it a good old stir, aren't right, you, love? Yeah, yes, apparently. It's meant to look like a liquid, but right now it's just It really does not look like a liquid. I think we might have done it wrong. There we go, it's getting a bit more liquid now. I think you've cracked it. It does actually smell really nice, and I don't like this sort of stuff, but it actually smells quite nice. You got it, I'm so proud you want of it you. until it's like this golden color. And then you wanna pour it into your bin. Into the tray with, what's that called, greaseproof paper? That actually looks sick. Look it actually looks well good. I'm so tempted to stick my finger in it. Holly. Do not, I repeat, do not do that if you are cooking honeycomb. So guys, this is obviously the final product after you've poured it out of the pan. But now what we've actually just realized is that you've got to let it sit for an hour to an hour and a half until it goes rock solid and then you can break it up and eat it. So now we've just got to wait for an hour, so I'll see you in a bit. So it's now about an hour later and we've come down and it is all dried as you can see. I'm gonna try it because Ellie doesn't want to try it, but I'm a bit worried well, because the bicarbonate of soda is seven, seven years, years old. old. Okay. Go on, drop it. This is not healthy, is it? No. It's so chewy. If I'm honest, I can't taste it because of how chewy it is. It's pulling my teeth out. I'm gonna put it in the bin so that I don't pull any of my teeth out. It's meant to look like the inside of that. I don't like crunchies. So for that, it wasn't bad, and the process that we did to make it was good. So I'm going to give it a 5 for the process. The 5 that takes me up to the 10 is not there because the stuff that we used was 7 years old. So now we're going to move on to the next TikTok food hack, which is... Egg sandwich! It's an egg sandwich. Now it sounds like an egg sandwich, but it's not. It's a special type of egg sandwich. So what do we need for this, Ellie? Obviously we need... Three eggs and some bread. Three eggs and some... <laughs> Bread! Remember when we cracked eggs for... What did we crack it for? The McDonald's! Oh yeah, cracked them. Right, you dropped the shell in there. Sorry. Someone commented on the McDonald's video saying we cracked an egg with a double yolk. But I didn't notice that. We've got three eggs in the bowl and now... <laughs> Sorry about that. Whisk your eggs up. That's the most aggressive I've ever seen you whisk eggs ever. That's gonna fly out if you're not careful. Right, okay. Right, next you need some butter. Butter. And you want to set your frying pan going. Set your frying pan going. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Hey, it makes me feel sick. It makes me feel sick. I, I Once your butter has melted, you want to pour your egg into your pan. Pour the egg into your pan, yo! And you want a little bit of salt. Salt! 
singing cursive for me. My sign is going to break my no, heart. No. Put your two pieces of bread on top of the egg like this. They're too big. Yeah, you might need like smaller. You need smaller bread. Basically what you're going to do is put your bread into the pan so that it soaks up all the egg that you've just poured in the pan. Are you meant to do that? No. Then why are you doing it? So then you need to fold it on like... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no, it's gone so wrong. Yep, take it out. Wait, no, you need to, like, fry it on both sides. Oh, okay, you do that. It'll make such a difference. So there's a lesson learned here, everybody. Don't copy and repeat what me and Ellie have just done because it's completely incorrect. Are you telling me that doesn't look good? Nope, it me neither. does not. Let's have it on this plate. Fresh and tasty. Perfect description of what looks like in that pan. Uh, so basically what we have here is a loaf of bread that is meant to be fully egged and it's not. It's really not meant to look like that. Does this taste like eggs on toast? No. 2 out of 10, we tried the process for the 2, the rest of it is gone, so here we go, that's where it belongs. Right. Anybody wants to make that eggy bread, try it elsewhere. Moving on to the next blooming food hack. Alright ladies and gents, the next food hack on the list it <laughs> The next food hack on the list is pancake cereal, and it is, the clue is, is right there in the name. Pancake cereal. So Ellie, please can you shout out the ingredients you need to make pancake you cereal? You need 100 grams of plain flour, 2 large eggs and 300 ml of milk. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh sick. Oh, and some golden syrup. Yeah. Oh, sick bro, yeah man. So what you want to do is pour in milk, pour in milk, pour some milk in a bowl and then crack an egg. Is this to make pancake mixture? Yeah. Oh, okay, I've never made this in my life so I have no idea. <gasps> Well, that were blooming stupid, weren't it? We've got a big splatter of egg yolk on the floor. But what do I do with my hand? Oh, wash it. Oh, be happy, everyone. And scene. Where were we? Put 100 grams of flour in. 100 grams of flour in the bowl where you've already got milk and eggs, and hopefully you don't crack your eggs all over the floor like Ellie did. And Whisk it up, boys and girls. Imagine if it's... This is how we met at an online baking club. That's not cursing. Yes, that... it is, cafe. <laughs> I'll pet the bacon. Oh, it sounds like I'm saying something that I shouldn't be. Yeah! Shime, I shime, I. We're going for mini pancakes. Oh, oh, oh. I think she's doing a good job so far, you know? Oh, oh. We need something to sprinkle it into the pan with. Because what we're using at the minute, everybody, is just... <laughs> you actually... Not anymore, we're not! Has it gone in? <laughs> we, might have to, we might have to eat the spoon! Can I ask why you put cereal into uh, on a plate? <laughs> Instead of in a bowl. Guys, if you've made it this far into the video, please go down below, leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I would really appreciate it because we're trying our hardest here. We really are, but everything that we always do that involves DIY, it never goes well. So if you could smash 5,000 likes on this video, that would be absolutely amazing. And subscribe if you are new. No, so you can't flip it because uh, it's just too dangerous. <laughs> so it's not too dangerous. It's not too dangerous to flip a pancake. Then come in, flipping king. Do you want to just turn that off in case I set something on fire? Oh, hey! Ah, hey! Ah. <laughs> so Ellie made herself two normal pancakes, and while she stands over there and eats her pancakes, I'm going to show you guys our creation of our pancake cereal. So on the screen right now, I have put pancake cereal, what it's actually meant to look like. And, um,. This is what mine and Ellie's looks like. So this one's not too bad. It's all right. It tastes a bit naff. And this is just a big one scrunched up and these are all of the little ones that we have. So as a finishing touch, we just need a bit of golden syrup on there. Oh, lovely. And right now I'm gonna put a comparison of ours and what I've just put on screen to see how good ours actually is. I think we've done a pretty good blooming job of that, haven't we, Ellie? So guys, you can leave a rate for this one down in the comments below. I think we've, Done a three. 
So that food hack that we did was actually the last one. I had it in my head that we were going to do more for some reason, but I only had that many on my list. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please go down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I would really appreciate that. You might be seeing right now that the office behind me has changed a little bit. You can see that my setup looks a little bit different. If you want to go see what it properly looks like in the whole room, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. And also you can go follow Ellie on Instagram as well, because this side of the room that Ellie's done looks really, really good. Let's smash 5,000 likes on the video. That would be amazing. Also, don't forget in the description below, there is lots of petitions that you can sign to help the Black Lives Matter movement. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you guys are like me and you don't have enough education on it, make sure you use your free time to educate yourself on what is happening in the world right now. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. Have a lovely rest of the week. I can't remember what day it is. My brain is absolutely mashed, but I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Peace!